So I slightly pressed the button there, whoops, Daisy. Um, so yeah, I was just saying about making any corrections that you can. If you've got a rubber brilliant, if not, then that's why drawing lightly ends up being beneficial. Now when we're observing a drawing and we're looking at something, we need to constantly look back up at it. So if you, like me, ended up drawing too large for the page, just draw it off the page. It's all about the quality of the drawing. I'm not as fussed if you don't manage to get it all in the paper as long as for what you've drawn is a representation of the thing that's in front of you. Now we're looking for a tonal sketch from this. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, how to cleverly apply some softer tones in a second. I'm just getting in where the darker shadows are at the moment. Remember, look up at your object every three seconds. It's very important that you're always, always checking. The more you look, the better drawn you'll get. Um, so now as I'm looking here, I can see my bottles maybe been drawn a little bit incorrectly. So I'm going back up here to correct it. Perhaps the handles of these are a little bit further over. Okay, I'm going to pause it there and then I'm going to talk to you about tone once I get to that stage.